Hi, this is Dr. Bhavamit Joshi from Aspire MDS and now let's see what is a synchondrosis. So as you all know, the bones of base of skull are in the beginning made up of cartilage and from this cartilage further on they get ossified to become bone. So when in the beginning uh, stages of growth, some points of ossification appear within this cartilage. Now from this growth centers or ossification centers, the bone starts growing in, right? It keeps on growing and separate bones form. But in between these bones, there are areas where cartilage still persist. These areas are known as synchondrosis. Now in the base of skull, these bones are ethmoid bone, then we have sphenoid bone and we have occipital bone and the synchondrosis that is between the ethmoid bone and the sphenoid bone is sphenoethmoidal then the one that is between the two sphenoid bones is intersphenoid then we have between the sphenoid and the occipital that is occipito sphenoidal or you can say spino occipital and then within the occipital bone you have intraoccipital bone now there is also uh, like for MCQ purpose you can remember that this synchondrosis do get fused when do they get fused the intersphenoidal one gets fused at birth the intraoccipital one will get fused by three to five years and the sphenooccipital one will get fused by 20 years the sphenoethmoidal bone or sphenoethmoidal synchondrosis when does it get fused it is not known but if MCQ is asked which of the following is last to fuse? The answer will be phenooccipital synchondrosis. Now you should remember that because there is growth of this synchondrosis, the based on this growth, there will be direction of displacement. So for MCQ purpose, you should remember that this phenooccipital synchondrosis, the growth at this region causes the cranial portion to move upward and forward direction, and the facial portion will move downward and forward.